so Alexander McQueen always was interested in his East London heritage and it was something that he explored in his graduation collection through uh, research into Jack the Ripper. Uh, the final collection was called Jack the Ripper Stalks His Victims. And a really early signifier of Alexander McQueen work is this lock of hair set in a plastic square. And this came from his research. Jack the Ripper allegedly snipped a lock of hair from the prostitute that he'd just killed and it, it was often something that was exchanged in a token of love. You would give your lock of hair and, and that would signify that, that you know you were theirs. So although could be such a nice story, taking it to be such a dark one, I think that's something that he always liked to do throughout his career is turn something that we accept on its head and, and this massive obsession with history, which I think Isabella and him very much shared, but was a world that Isabella opened him up to. You can't say that for his graduation collection, so it's very clear that he was already interested in historical research to aid and push forward his design. Um, however, when he met Isabella Blow, she showed him a side of things that perhaps he hadn't seen. Hills House in Gloucestershire, which was Isabella's marital home, the arts and crafts architecture, the, the seven counties that it bordered, which is the most idyllic, beautiful place, but also sort of ramshackle and all very put together and something that Isabella really really invested in, in, in doing it up and bring it, breathing life back into that building. And it was with these designers, all at her house from Thursday to Sunday or Monday, that she really achieved that. It was, it was a great meeting place for great minds. Really old-fashioned.